The Nets lose a heartbreaker in Atlanta. 147 to 145, the final in OT. I'm more encouraged than anything after this game just because of the fight that we showed tonight. You have everything you have every single game, and then you reload and do it again. Okay, so now that's what we have to do. We gave what we had tonight. Now we got to go home and take care of home. You got family in town. You still got a job to do. Love your family. Be extremely thankful tomorrow, man. When you wake up, I'm asking all of y'all, as soon as you wake up, be thankful for something, man. Just thankful for the sun. Thankful for the bed that you're laying in. Thankful for this group for allowing me to be a part of this thing, man. Okay, we get to do this for a living. Don't lose sight of that. We'll keep growing together. We'll keep being together as a team. Don't lose sight of that. Bring it in. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Black. Family. Yes, sir. talk a little bit. Um, best thing for me on the off days is I get to kind of reflect where we are. Uh, so I went back, looked at uh, notes actually from the first day that we all got together. And the one thing that I talked about was truth and transparency. You guys remember that. And the second thing that I talked about was, we mentioned the other night was EGBs, right? Okay, what would you say the EGBs stand for? Energy generated behavior. All right, so when I looked at my notes, the first day we talked about also EGB was, somebody in that top row, can you read that for me? Everyone getting better. Everyone getting better. All right, so I went back at my notes. Second thing that was listed was EGB, everyone getting better. First thing we talked about was truth and transparency and being able to live in that space. And maybe it is radical because that's not the NBA and that's not what you've seen. But can we create a, a special place here where that's acceptable? Where it's okay, Harry, for you to tell T.Y., maybe, maybe we can get better on that T.Y. And maybe we're not there yet. Maybe, Nick, you can say, Dayron, hey, Day, man, we ain't screening. We ain't getting the smalls open, man. We got to be better. And maybe we ain't there yet. Can we get there? And if we got there, the feeling that you would have, how liberating that would be, how freeing that would be. is one of the most empowering things that you have is the freedom of choice every single day. How you interact with your teammates, how I come into the office, I have that choice every single day. After the game, I talked about the physicality of the game and nobody gonna put on 20 pounds in the next week or two, but can we be tougher? And tougher is not just strength and pounds, but it is mentally and physically tougher to move on to the next possession, to be able to take criticism, and can you be steadfast, keep your nerve, don't lose your shit. So when we run pop and you might not have an angle to get him open, he might not get open, and so now we gotta do something else, do we lose our shit or not? Got a choice every day what that looks like for you. Being steadfast, keeping your nerve, don't lose your shit with this group, being tougher, as a group. Let's watch some clips. I'm more encouraged than anything. Asking our guys to do some different things, putting different ideals and concepts in our guys' mind, how they have to handle it. That's a part of growing. That's a part of trying to get the most out of this group this year. Another sellout crowd tonight at Barclays Center. The attendance has been terrific at the start of this season. Nets want to take care of business today. They've lost three in a row. They're playing a heat team who is on the second half of back-to-back. -back. Nets are on the front end of a back-to-back. -back. We'll play Chicago tomorrow here. And they're coming off of a tough loss. Both the Nets yeah. and the Heat are. So you got two motivated groups. Walker, catch, fire, kick. Lonnie Walker, the fourth, has been such a
such a critical part of how this second unit has operated offensively. Oh, what a denial from Sharp on the rejection. Good aggressiveness and pressure by Brooklyn. What you're seeing where they have thrived is on the glass. First in the league right now in rebounding, and a part of that too is the fact that they're crashing the offensive glass. Stay witty, Vinny Smith, beautiful. Brooklyn takes care of business against Miami. Momentum is definitely a thing. The confidence of a group is probably the biggest keys to any team, right? Like you got to believe and, and have a certain level of will to be successful in this league. So breaking the losing streak, I understand we took a couple of tough losses, being a little resilient, and hopefully, you know, getting some of that momentum going forward. White, Lennox, Vucevic, out to Williams, another good look, it is good. The Chicago Bulls have hit eight threes. We are not even seven minutes into this game. So the next thing is to piece things together and chip away at this one. I've seen so many games like this, back-to-back. -back. Energy was not very high at the beginning of the game, and you lose that game because you just kind of give up and give in. And this group did not do that tonight. Walker cans the corner three. All right, here you go. It's on fire from three. The Nets are getting stops so they can get it ahead. They've been playing in transition. They're moving and passing the basketball so well, and the ball's been going through the hoop for them. But been because of the defensive end and how they started to lock things down. Now Sharp finds Bridges. He got it. Nets trail 34-13. They now lead 44-41. They kind of hit a point where I was just like, damn. I looked at Mikel after Royce hit a three and he was just like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm happy that we kind of found that. You know, that was very fun as a team collectively and we found what was working for us and we just kept it going. You bet. It's just silly at this point. 25 made threes, a new home record in franchise history. And the Nets take down the Bulls 118-109 the final. You earned that back-to-back. -back. You earned day off tomorrow also. All right. Then we'll come back, protect home court again, get some rest, get some fluids in you. Let's yeah. do it again. Here we go. Come on, AB. <laughs> so get on three. One, two, three. One. Will, is it? Come on, Weaver. Is it 14? 14 is the number tonight? So it's a little more complicated because of Boston playing at the same time. Who they play? They play uh, Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. So anyway, it has to do with like the net of how much they win by. And how much we win by. Was that is that for first place? How much are they? Yes. Okay. Well, we Sorry, we that's, that's, that's if we're all tied. That's if it's Orlando, Boston, and us are all tied. Tied. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How, how much are they though? Are they plus? No, they're, plus they're, they're, they're behind us. Yeah, they're behind us. They're, they're behind us. Eight. Yeah. yeah. Really? They're zero. So we basically both have to surpass Orlando. And then we need to start Orlando's first. 20, Orlando's, Orlando's 22. They're 22. Orlando's 22, and we're eight. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're, we're down 14. 14. At least 14. Hey, 14. Hey. Minimal. And you pick up. Minimal. 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 Minimal.
over Toronto. It does not appear the Nets will be a part of the next round of the in-season tournament. The diff is not going to be enough for Brooklyn. We just got to keep protecting home court, keep rolling, continue this flow that we're in, and you know, hopefully we can get some players back and keep this thing going. And let's get a little boost off the bench. Cam Thomas, who's been out with an ankle injury, returns to action tonight. Thomas, the jumper. He's got it! Cam Thomas, you could wake him up in the middle of the night, send him to a gym, and he would score the ball. Johnson, kick, bridges, the jumper is pure. Nets have had at least 20 assists in all 17 of their games. But this is not a Charlotte team that puts up big numbers on the offensive side. They're just having their way with multiple effort plays. They're hustling. We did not have the standard that we typically have, especially in that first half, and that set the tone. That was it. Now you, you give a team confidence, and uh, they're playing free and able to make shots. Claxton with Rozier. A series of moves. A fade. He's hot. Unconscious. Terry Rozier. Gets it down by one. Three seconds. Two seconds. Johnson. No good. Charlotte holds on for the win. Yeah, I got a question. Yeah, I think if we do fire, yep. if, if, if I got to jump up, and when uh, they'll jump up, I think we should like just aggressive. Make them back cut, because that should be sitting right there. Yep. Anyway. Like I should just be off. Like if I jump mm -hmm. up, I'm right here again. If he does, and Clax is right there as well. So they aggressive, like Brad, like jump all the way up to nine, make them try back cut. Mm -hmm. That's a whole new defensive scheme that a lot of us are used to doing, and we got to trust each other. You know, and I think that's the most important part is we're not communicating. You look at other teams that are playing us, you know, they're very physical, they're touching us, they're grabbing us, they're pushing us. So just picking up the communication and just being real feisty, I think we just got to bring that sense of havoc back. Nets looking to get back in the win column and give Orlando another loss after beating them a couple weeks ago. Get it to the outside, swing it to the corner. Winches, aggressive, puts it in. And Carroll's going to have to make it happen on Dinwiddie. Oh, sent away by Bridges. Dinwiddie, kick out, Bridges, no hesitation, he's on fire. One man wrecking crew, Mikel Bridges, beautifully done in this first, 26 points. Highest scoring quarter of his career. I was ready, I was ready to play, just didn't like that loss against Charlotte. And um, obviously I want them to get history on our court, so I just did not want to lose that game. Rebound short. Gets it to go. Too strong like a bully in the sandbox. The growth that he's made this season, the work he continues to put in, and he's always had nice touch with footwork, his ability to be a, a cleanup guy on the glass. But we're seeing more situations like that. You can see the work that he's poured in starting to pay off. Oh, what a strip. O'Neal just takes it away from Van Carroll. Lob it up. Smith slam it home. DSJ all the way for two. Just a, a different level of intensity when he steps on. It's just impact, you know what I'm saying? It's rebounds, assists, steals, blocks. More than one way to skin a cat. So I'm just trying to uh, give my team whatever they need. Like I say, be an energy guy and get wins. Hesitates, gets inside, fades. Oh! He cannot be stopped. Mikel Bridges, splash! Something about playing the Magic right now that Brooklyn Nets enjoy. They see it, they feast on it, and Mikel Bridges, no different tonight. Hell of a response by you guys. All right, that, that shows a lot. A lot of composure, a lot of staying together. Hell of a response. This is what this thing's about. Everybody getting better. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Hey, we ended that street. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, back to the A. Just think about running back to the rim. Running back to the rim. Back to the rim. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Oh for seven. Got the crab. Hell no. Nah. Oh for eight. Oh, one more, one more. Yeah. Oh for nine. Bro, where's these numbers coming from, bro? Oh for nine. Out of here. Ooh. One for nine. Since that Hawks loss, the Nets' offensive rating is second in the league. 
and their defensive rating is ninth, they are first in net rating since their five-game homestand in the NBA. What do you remember about that game two weeks ago and just how intense it was and what's going to be key for tonight? Um, just, um, I feel like we, we didn't come out good that game and, uh, you know, they punched us in the mouth. But I feel like we got better as a team after that game because we've been trying to hold ourselves accountable. It takes everyone to, uh, to dial in and we've been trying to do that. Mikel and Cam both have not won here in their career, so... We got to get a win for them, man. I can't believe they never won here. But tonight, we're going to change that, so that's all that matters. Claxton with a rebound, falling out of bounds, gets rid of it to Johnson. Back it out, Bridges, hard drive, going to the rim. Oh, what a two-hand slam by Mikel Bridges. You love the ball movement, the shot creation. That's what it's all about here offensively for Brooklyn. There have been 22 lead changes, six ties. It has been back and forth all night here at State Farm Arena. They're trying to problem solve. You've got guys that respect one another and how much they play for one another. And so you want your players to be able to care and be able to communicate with one another on how to fix things. Now it's just about can you translate that and execute on the floor. Looking to your left, right, seeing the guys that we have who are just able to guard and being confident that we can get stopped. Defensively, we've had our ups and downs so far, but I think, you know, trending in the right direction, and the more this group is together, the better they'll get. Young drives it left. Smith knocked it loose. O'Neal's got it. Four on one. Smith's got it in transition. A lob for Finney Smith in a two-hand slam. Nice look here to Bridges from Johnson. Oh, the pretty reverse from Bridges. Feverish pace here for both of these teams. Cut off by Capella. Back it out, Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie, right wing three. He's good! Spencer Dinwiddie heating up here in the fourth quarter. I think just being together more and having trust in each other and uh, the second we have, you know, you want to be in them late game moments and take a lot of pride in it and everybody's just locked in and want to win and, you know, that's all I care about. I just want to come out here and get this win. Young with Atlanta down two, 20 seconds to go. Backs up, right wing three for the lead and it's good. With 16.5 to go. Nets are going to move it up the floor. No timeout. Shot clock is off. Nets the ball down one. Nine seconds to go. Bridges moving right. Right of the lane. Backs up. Fade away. Good with 4.5. Nets with a one point lead. Atlanta with the ball. Young inbounds. Bay gives it back to Young. Drives right. Top of the key. Falling away. Floater in and out. No good. Nets hang on to win in Atlanta. I can literally remember saying to myself, we're going to get this one. And so uh, that, that feels good that I believed in our group, that somehow we was going to figure it out. And uh, we needed everybody. Everyone that played contributed. It is uh, the epitome of a team win right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Dayron, when you look at what you guys have been able to do in the last six games, you're five and one. Just what do you attribute just the success that you guys have had? Oh, uh, you know, JV is the first day he wrote on the board, radical truth, radical transparency. Uh, and, like coming into this season, like we not holding things back from each other. We all trying to get better. We all want to win. We all want to be great. So, you know, like we all trying to buy into that. I really think the time that we spent early in the year talking about and preaching and practicing conceptual basketball, of figuring out some answers when it doesn't look exactly how you thought it was going to look, has paid dividends for us. And uh, that's with guys in and out of the lineup. But I think our guys have wrapped their heads around how we want to play, what makes us successful playing on the offensive end of the floor. And, you know, making the sacrifice behind it. So it, it was definitely the early effort of being locked in on conceptually how we want to play. This just takes time, you know, you, you're around each other every day and the more time you spend, the more you're comfortable where you could talk to each other and find little games within the game. And we just keep building every day. And I mean, we all close in that locker room, so that's what really helps as well. We're just really tight and everybody like each other and just go out there and try to play for one another.